December the 28th, government forces liberated the villages of Ad-Dajaj, Tamat al-Khalifa and Musharifa and reached the southern vicinity of the militant-held village of Abu Dali. Abu Dali is controlled by Hayat Tariq al-Sham, formerly Chabat al-Nusra, the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, and is one of the key militant defence points in the area. If Abu Dali falls into the hands of the Syrian Arab Army, SAA, the militant defence may collapse in the entire area east of the town of Morak. Clashes in the area continued on December 29th. On December the 28th, the US-backed Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, announced that their fighters had advanced on the ISIS-held town of Hajin in the province of Deir Zor. According to the SDF, 15 ISIS members were killed and a vehicle and motorcycle of the terrorist group were destroyed. The US-led coalition announced in an official statement released on December 27th that on December the 23rd, it and Mahawir al-Thora, Mat, launched a military operation against ISIS in the Hama Desert around the Al-Tanaf base. Mart fighters secured several caves which had been used by ISIS to store weapons, explosives and communications equipment around Al-Tanaf. The coalition revealed that ISIS had used these positions in the Hama Desert to move to and from the Euphrates Valley. The US-led coalition statement confirms that ISIS maintains a presence in the Al-Tanaf area right under its nose, just as Russia and the SAA had claimed on many occasions. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu praised the tremendous firepower of the Israeli Air Force and sent a warning to Iran and the Palestinian movement Hamas. The Prime Minister once again claimed that the Israeli leadership will not allow the forces of the Iranian army to establish themselves in Syria in order to harm us. According to experts, the US and Israel are in close coordination to limit the Iranian influence in Syria, Iraq and Lebanon. However, so far, their activity has only led to the growth of the Iranian role in the region.